The iPhone 5S begins exhibiting battery issues and Apple is apparently dealing with it. Google Glass version 2 goes live even if you still can't buy the damn thing. And yeah, we already get rumors of the Galaxy S5. I'm Jaime Rivera. And please leakers, really, I mean, why don't you get us details of the Galaxy S10 while you're at it? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start off with some official and awesome news as Nokia finally begins detailing their new refocus application for Lumia models. You know, that new app like the Lytro camera where you can take a photo and then zoom to different places after the photo's taken. You can actually edit it and do whatever you want with it after the photo's taken. It's really cool technology and it's coming to the major Lumia smartphones very soon in the next coming weeks. Uh, the problem is obviously there are 52 weeks in the year and we don't know exactly which one that will be. Now let's talk about some more official bad news as Apple has now confirmed on their own that they have detected some battery issues on some iPhone 5S models. Some specific very small amount of models and they're apparently already contacting customers to give them a free phone swap for whatever troubles they've had. Now obviously since we do not know specific details as to which phone batch was it, it could be that our own phones right now are having trouble. I'm I mean, do any of you have battery issues? Because I could invent some of mine and get a new phone. Now let's go through some rumors and specifically Amazon. We've heard about their smartphone project. We've heard about them working with HTC. We've heard about a design that includes a 4.7 inch display, a 13 megapixel camera, et cetera, et cetera. And we've also heard that we aren't getting the phone anytime soon, but apparently some motion tracking technology software will be included in the phone. This is the second time we hear this leak. Apparently there will be some other cameras in the corners trying to track your eyeballs. But the question is, and please take your guess, what exactly do you think Amazon is planning with this? Leave us a comment. Now let's talk about some hilarious news from Samsung. And the reason why it's hilarious is because we're probably almost a year away from the launch of the next Galaxy S5. And we're already getting leaks about it. First of all, that apparently we're getting four gigs of RAM on a 64-bit processor, which are expected. Fine, that's probably what's coming. But even more interesting is that apparently Samsung will ditch optical image stabilization for another year on the camera of the smartphone, which is really interesting and kind of uh, sad. But still, when you get the iPhone 5S, no optical image stabilization, and great low light performance, you get to wonder if you really need that thing in the first place. So we'll see how that goes. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Google is already demoing the second version of Google Glass. You know, that specific gadget that's out there for some people that you'll most probably not be able to afford and that you can't buy right now. Well, apparently Google has made some minor changes to it, including some design changes to be able to accommodate normal glasses, not necessarily just the cool glasses from Google Glass. And also there's an earpiece for better audio, except for the bone conduction hardware that was there in the first variant. But still, you know, that leads me to the question of the day. Uh, we're by version 2 of Google Glass, and do you care any more about this or any less? Because in my particular case, honestly, the more time goes by, the less buzz that I find on Glass, you know? I really don't care about that product anymore, unless they price it on like $200 or something whenever they launch that thing. But leave us a comment down below. How do you feel about it? And friends, if you want to get the news earlier before this video gets filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.